um, is subject to elements. So it was created, it has a beginning, it's dependent. So for me, it's not like God of the gaps. I'm not like, oh, um, I don't have anything, so now I'm just trying to squeeze God into it. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that the universe didn't create itself. Um, from nothing comes nothing. Then you need something outside of the universe, something which is independent to put the universe into existence. That's the premise of my argument. Yeah, and I hear that. I mean, it's interesting to think of, do I think of the universe as being like, separate to the concept of God, or do I think God is the entirety of the universe? Now, regardless of that, mm -hmm. yeah, because um, what happens is, <coughs> The universe, does it have a will? Does it have intelligence? Because my argument would be that if we can't conflate the universe with God, with the Creator. Because again, it doesn't meet the known definition. No, it doesn't necessitate the definition of a Creator. So a Creator would have to be independent. You can't have a infinite amount of dependent things. Yeah, okay, yeah. Does it make sense? Like yeah. So, I, we have to draw out, I mean, we have to draw off or cross out the universe being comparable to the Creator because the universe is dependent. Because mm. when you ask the question, um, who created God or does God have a mother? Mm. Yeah, then my response to that would be that created things would have a need a creator or have a mother yeah? and Allah by definition being uncreated because the Quran gives a four line I'm giving you my Quran I've got more oh. don't worry about it because <laughs> now I'm going to reference my Quran um, the Quran gives a four line definition of Allah mm -hmm. and I, sometimes I try to avoid using the word God of depending on the word creator because when you hear the word God you might think of a statue or you might think of something blue or an elephant or sure, yeah. a man that uh, something Jesus Christ sure. dying on the cross, um, some kind of iconography or biblical country, or biblical yeah. understanding of God, where God needed to rest on the seventh day, mm -hmm. and I distance myself as a Muslim. I distance myself from all those things. I'm saying that Allah is the Creator, and we don't compare the Creator with the creation. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I've forgotten the point I was trying to make, but yeah. How do you uh, feel about what I said? Go on. Uh, so I was answered to, I said, oh, like, say, uh, would you say, like, or can we know or not know if God has a mother? So it was like, yeah. um, I mean, my, my kind of thing is why I, I wouldn't, uh, I can't say there's not a God, mm -hmm. uh, but mainly my thing is, can, you know, uh, can, can a human deny with my human limit of intelligence, foresight, you know, omniscience, uh, could I comprehend uh, uh, God? You know, something, can I, uh, something many degrees greater than myself. Um, I think comprehending to what extent? I think we all have the capacity to comprehend Allah to the point that Allah exists. Allah's names and attributes. So when I say to you, Allah is uniquely one. That's the point I'm going to make. I was going to give a full-line definition of God oh. found in the Quran. Yeah. Um, if the full line definition given in the Quran in chapter 112 where it says say Allah is uniquely one yeah? He is self-sustaining eternal yeah? He does not beget nor was He begotten and there's nothing equal or comparable to Him Okay yeah? Would you disagree with that full line definition? Uh, no, that kind of fits what I'm thinking, yeah Yeah, that, uh, that's my point So now, like if I was to ask you to like imagine infinity it's very abstract yes yeah similarly imagine Allah who has knowledge of everything all those things that's gonna happen all those things that didn't happen those things that didn't happen if it did happen what would have happened mind blown yeah, yeah. so I'm saying that look um, how do we as Muslims reconcile the issue that you've put is by saying that look Allah has described himself through names and attributes. Mm -hmm. yeah? So um, Allah is the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the most just, the most loving. Yeah? So then it's like we're slowly getting to understand the Creator, or even that four-line definition of Allah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think th this is how we kind of connect with the Creator. Now, 
um, would you agree with my claim that it's more logical and rational to believe in a creator, something outside of the universe, to put the universe into existence, or give me an alternative? I mean, my, uh, my, my so I, you know, uh, I can I can logically say that I I can't say there's one, but I can't logically say that there must be one because I can't pick an alternative. I mean that's my kind of like faith well, I would say that. Or, 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 like, are are, 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 are you not. consistent with that? Because there's a lot of things that you agree to exist or to be there. And what's your, what's your realm of evidence? Does that make sense? Because right now, can we agree that with all the information you have now, it's more logical and rational to believe in a creator than not to believe in a creator. Now, in a hundred years' time, in like the increased technology where you're living for 500 years, and it's like there's a new concept. But currently, with the concept, with the full exercise that we've done, like, what is the alternative? So if there isn't a relevant alternative now, then, and I'm giving you a compelling alternative, then until you present it with something different, my one is the most compelling alternative, no? Uh, and what was the hesitation to actually say, no, you're right? I think, I think more the hesitation is me to, uh, to define it. So I, I acknowledge there must be there's something, there must be something, mm. um, but for me to uh, kind of put that into a context, I think that's, I think that's beyond my limit. So, you're going on an advanced level, right? On a basic level, you've agreed with me. So you're no longer an atheist because you believe there's something. Now, how do you define it? That's a continuation of the conversation. I suppose so, yes, yeah. Right. We're, like, we're Muslims, so we don't drink champagne. I was going to say that, pop, pop the champagne. But, um, okay, so now, I thought I do actually need to run up shortly, mate. Yeah. Uh, but thank you very much. No uh, have a read. Ha have a read through that. Do you have any questions about Islam before you go? Uh, not, not currently. No, I think, I think you've given me some uh, nice bit of insight, uh, yeah. a nice bit of knowledge, which I'm going to go through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much. What's your name, by the way? Joel. Joel. Ridwan, yeah. I appreciate your time. I would say that um, let's not jump ahead, let's build step by step. And at the moment, you say that, look, okay, there is a creator. Now, let's see the Islamic position and see if that agrees with you in regards to how we're defining the creator, the names and attributes. And I think anyone who's sincere, anyone with intelligence, which you've presented yourself to be, oh, you <laughs> I've had my moments, yeah, yeah. Um, you're not going to disagree with it. But I think what ends up happening is we get distracted. Does that make sense? We, we procrastinate. We're like, we'll get to it. I think like, yeah, just get to it sooner rather than later. And I think this gentleman wants to yeah, say something, but just keep in mind, Joel is in a rush as well. He really beautifully put everything together. I just you wanna, charmer! No, 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 I just want to <laughs> add uh, something like, you know, like uh, when you look at the attributes, like he mentioned, like when you come to know there is a creator and then how we show this is the creator in Islam, how, why not Christianity and why not Judaism? Mm -hmm. So we have... Well, he, he's coming from an uh, atheist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. characteristics of the world, like for example, so what we say in Islam, uh, the creator is all knowing. The all knowing. So if any creator, people are worshipping that are not all knowing, we can happily reject them. So we have say 99 attributes of God, famous names and attributes. So if we apply those as a test to check whether the true God or the false God, so you can find it. Say for example. So when we say all-knowing, we say Allah is Al-Alim, who is all-knowing. But the same one, let's say, what are the, uh, the other gods in different religions? Now let's say, can I apply Jesus to all-knowing? So, yeah. so, so this, this is what, like, a kind of a falsification we can do okay. to oh. find out the true nature of God. And then we say, revelation comes, prophets come, which connect the dots. Brilliant. I'll, I'll, I'll have a read, mate. Thank you much. Good evening. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was a lovely conversation. Habibi, you heard the conversation. I feel like no, Habibi, um, I, I, if we had more time, I would have built on his contention, which is like, yeah. look, how to understand Allah, yeah. like the concept 
because yeah. uh, more concise about art is like no, the no, totality I, I think of you, it. You, you summarized it, but like, you know, inshallah. No, no, because there's more to build on. Does it make yeah, sense? Yeah, but he didn't allow you yeah, time, but, time, but yeah. you would have continued. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I thought, let me just give him no, a no, short no, message. Yeah, but, I mean, you you summarized it anywhere. And give him hidayat as well. Yeah, hidayat is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't know. Maybe he open up the Quran and he find a verse. No, no, I think he will. I think yeah. the fact of the matter is, the question he's got, um, Islam motivates you and promotes you to actually use your intellect. So when he asks the questions, he will be satisfied. So the fact of the matter is, he needs to look in the Quran to find the answers. And I'll pro I would recommend and promote for him to actually ask the questions and he will be satisfied by the Quran. Just about opening it, inshallah. So I'm going to give him the topic to open Allah, it. Allah mentioned it. that Allah is, Quran is the shifa and cure for the heart. No. Well, what is the shifa and cure? First of all, first the biggest shifa is to guidance. Yeah. Uh, give me one second. Let me just quickly. I was just uh, guiding him to Islam. You know. So, so, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to guide him to Islam, and let's take this opportunity to make dua for our brothers and sisters in Palestine, and all of those people are suffering all over the world. So, I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala grant us aid, grant us mercy, and grant us the support that we need, and keep making dua. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.